thinking about running you know, 140 miles offshore to the seamount. Left teaser. Taking line. We have been waiting for this trip for for a year. Did you mark any others? How about that? On the last trip, we got 22 in one day. 22 in one day. Right on, right on, right on. That's, that's right, that's it, that's it. Woo! <laughs> what a bite! That's a bite! <laughs> Ready when you are, Cap? But there's one thing that gets me, and that's blue marlin fishing. Here's the leader! I love it. All right, All right let's get another one. Two for three. The main thing this time of the year, this is all about blue marlin. There's no place else in the world that you can go and be guaranteed blue marlin every day. And when they put the double digits up, it, yeah, the world just, oh, that can't be right. That's I, I've kept in touch with my buddy Tanner for a long time. He's just one of those guys that is so deep in the industry great captains all over the world have gotten to know him. You know, it's a blue marlin, so the guys are fishing now, more 20 pound for the blues, just a little more excitement. You know, instead of pitching 50s, they're pitching 30s and some 20s. I went in, catch up on old times, but really what, what he did for me and given me a little intel about the trip that I'm about to go on to these sea mounts. And they can do that with the blue marlin too. If they threw out a bonita, a small bonita, while they're fighting another, they can hook up all day long with multiples. Because most fisheries have been developed and discovered for long, long time, but this blue marlin fishery is, I mean, maybe some of you really knew about it, but it's relatively new to a lot of people and what's happening at those sea mounts offshore. It was, it was a secret for quite a while. A <laughs> uh, the guys in Golfito knew about it. You know, they did this stuff. Left, left, left teaser. Take him, take him. Ah, spit it. Let it no, sit, let it sit, let it sit. No, no, it's there, it's there. It's still there. there. Viene pa'l bote. He's coming to the boat. Nice job, Daniel. Nice job. Yoo-hoo! Come on, Look at baby. Me. Nice fish. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Smoking it. I think that's my favorite, just seeing him going away. Nothing you can do about it. He's going. Yeah, it's Smoking the rear a little bit. Coming up. Coming up. Dre right behind us. One of the most exciting moments in fishing, certainly for me, is the rush of feeling, you know, the pull of a blue marlin. <laughs> yeah, baby. The power of that boat back and down and water pouring over the transom and the fish jumping, going away, headed into the sunset. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Golly, man. <laughs> what a fish. <laughs> Blue Mile, the capital of the world, Costa Rica! Yeah, let's get him. We get it, and we get to the leader, and we get a clean release on that fish. It's, you know, there are a lot of great moments in fishing, and all kinds of fishing, but that, for me, is certainly one of the most exhilarating. Yeah, man. Good job. Thank Great you, man. Great job, man. Great job. I don't even know what to say. These sea mounts are world class. Okay. World class. Well, beautiful. This is Costa Rica, man. Love the way that boat handles. Wasn't that nice? Oh, yeah. Huh? Definitely. They're moved really good, backed up real good. You know, this is really similar to a lot of the other fishing I do, whether I'm pulling the flats with a friend in the Keys, floating the Snake River in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. There's a team effort in all of this. You've got the captain of the boat, you've got the mates, and you've got the anglers. And everybody working together 
you know, helps ensure that success. You know, it's really important to have a bait that is properly prepared. There's a two, 300 pound fish out there that's pulling on it and jerking on it and, and it can tear the bait in half. But if you have a properly stitched bait that holds together, and I've been around a lot of guys that prepare baits really, really well. But let me tell you something, Carlos was a master at it. The obsession of Carter Andrews is brought to you by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Mercury Marine, go boldly. Yozuri, fish the best. And by Shimano. Get the, get the, get the low. There it comes, feed him. Viene, por favor, te dice. Ok, está bueno, está bueno. No. No. All right, I got him now. I got him again. Ya, ya lo tiene, ya lo I tiene. I got him again. Wow. Woo. <laughs> that was a big bite. That was a great bite. Nice fish, too. Got him on the smallest rod in the boat right now. A little tough, I guess 16's getting a workout right now. Looks like this fish is giving you a fight, huh? He's giving me a fight right after lunch. That's just what I needed. <laughs> that's cool. We got him on the smallest rod in the boat. A 16. Dolly cap, that's a good reel, too. It looks like a nice fish, too, you know? Yep. Oh, he's all lit up. All right, now let's go get him. Okay, vamos, yeah. Va a brincar por ahí, está corriendo mucho. He's going down. Smoking. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got to jump somewhere. The first billfish moment of my life. One of the most impressionable catches I've ever seen. I was fishing off of Oregon Inlet with this good family friends of ours, the Blunts. Let him come, don't go get him yet. Let him come, let him come. We're out catching white marlin, having a great day. It's my turn, I'm in the chair, I'm 10 years old, and all of a sudden I'm looking in the spread and here is this giant, giant fish. All right, now let's go get it. Okay, vamos, yeah. Something so much bigger than all the white marlin that we've been catching and the crew's yelling at me to get out of the chair and my dad has to get in and it's a 700 pound blue marlin. And ever since that moment, I haven't been able to get it out of my mind, and I haven't been able to get enough marlin experience. Oh, <laughs> absolutely beautiful fish. This is what I love about blue marlin fishing right here. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Woo! <laughs> On the tag 16, huh? <laughs> The opportunity to catch blue marlin can be done in a number of different ways. A lot of people just troll lures, and lure fishing's great. You're trolling four to six lures, and you're looking for the fish to come up, grab it, he pretty much hooks himself. Another way of doing it is pulling teasers. This is a teaser, it's a, it's a hookless lure. It's got a skirt on it, this is a soft head. And the idea behind it is it's attracting the marlin. And we've got these attached to electric reels. When we see the marlin behind it, one of the mate teases the fish. He's bringing this teaser through the water, this lure, hookless lure through the water, and then I need to be ready at the last minute. He pulls it out of the water, and I'm gonna throw him a bait. And we feed him a pitch bait, which in our case is gonna be a bonita, or a small yellowfin tuna. 
And the nice thing about this type of fishing, instead of just pulling a lure with hooks in it, it's pretty interactive. You know, for me as an angler, I get to feed that fish. I'm looking for the bite. It's another way. There are a lot of different ways to catch these fish, and this is just one of them. We can also live bait these fish. So we're pulling around bridled live baits. All of those techniques are, are really work well. Uh, and then you match your tackle with them. We caught them doing bait and switch, and we've also caught them on live bait. It's illegal for the commercial guys to take billfish in Costa Rica now. Not really. Yeah, so Not they, really. They call them uh, a bycatch. Bycatch. And they can they can sell them on a local market. You know, as I think about Costa Rica, you know, this is a warm, inviting culture, and you know they've gotten used to a client base coming here and fishing. Have some of the commercial guys moved over into the sport fishing market? I mean, I see oh, more. Oh, yes, this is, there's a lot, a lot of people move, exactly, move down to the, to the sport fishing business now. You told me when you started your first job as a captain, there were, there were four yachts. Yeah, it was, it was four yachts of 22 foot outboard. 22 That's, foot that, yachts. That was the whole fleet down there then. These guys here, in the Los Sueños and Capos area. You know, these guys for the past 30 years have been dedicating their lives to providing opportunities to us. About a year after that, there was two 26 footers that everybody considered like, you know, the best and the, the best ever. You know, Daniel being one of them, his career that he's sport fishing and now I'm boat building, you know, it's gonna, he's gonna be one of those legendary characters in the world of big game fishing. I guess this is what happens in Costa Rica during rainy season. I got my little perch right here kind of staying out of the rain. This is just part of the fishing. Can't expect it to be sunny all the time. We're here during the rainy season. Without a doubt, it rains during the rainy season. And it's, it's not just a little bit of rain, it's biblical rain. But that's part of the experience, and to be able to embrace that. Go, go. You ah, you get him? No. Get get the other fish ray. Put it out. There you go, There he is. Hey, hey, hey. You got him now. Got him. Now we got got him. Right on! It's not a hindrance, it's just part of what happens and it's part of the conditions. <laughs> nice job, buddy! Fish through it. We have a I can't believe he came back. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else coming up? Coming up right there. It's it's part of what we do and and who we are. You know, look at the bites that we had during the rain. They were some of the most monumental, you know, points of my trip. Coming up! Coming up! Nice fit! <laughs> nice fit! <laughs> Yeah, 
Tenemos las patas de este mes. ¡Ojo! Go ahead. Cut him. Oh. Rain or shine <laughs> in Costa Rica, man. Unbelievable. You know, I still get so excited. See that fish up behind the teaser like that? Take the teaser away from him and whew. The obsession of Carter Andrews is brought to you by CV Boats, lead the way. Cuda Fishing Tools, fierce, tough, proven. Ray Marine, don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater with Ray Marine. Traeger Wood-Fired Grills, taste the wood fire difference. And additional support provided by the following brands. Typical trip is running offshore, hardcore fishing, eight, 10, 12 hours a day on the water, and then coming back to a marina, taking a shower and a good dinner, and, and going to bed on land. This trip is hardcore. You know, we're in a 43 foot boat, 140 miles off the coast. Right here, right here, come on, 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 come
Gotta love a blue marlin. And then, then in the end, you know, it's it's the release and seeing this, you know, incredible animal that fought himself to the end. And I'm not saying he's given up because there's no giving up in those fish. Their heart and and their stamina is great. For me to be able to release that fish and swim off is is what it's. That's the reward. It's. I've kind of been there, I've conquered, and, and you know, he and I battled, and I let him go. This is certainly one of the greatest fishing experiences I've had, you know, to, to be a part of this crew and this team and this adventure and being offshore and, and these sea mounts that I've been obsessing about for, for, you know, not just months, but really years. Woo! Yeah, baby! I don't know what to say. A couple great days of fishing, fun time, new friends, great crew. That's why we're Some here. good food, 140 miles offshore, fishing the sea mounts. Dude, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say except hey, this okay. is incredible. Los Sueños, here we come. Dude, I never get tired of it. You never get tired of it.